All right, vegetables, take a seed, make a hole, and push the tip into the ground. There you go. Easy, isn't it? Now let's plant some more. Come in, Shellington. How's the planting going? Oh, we're making good progress, Captain. As I said, we've got this completely under control. Right, Junip? Junip? Uh, Captain, I think we may have a wee bit of a problem. What is it, Shellington? The Vegemals. They've disappeared. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> The Vegemals have gone missing. Oh, oh my! They must have gone into the mangrove forest. But why? I don't know, but we're going to help you find them. Quasi, Peso, to the Gup Sea. Tweet, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, Cap. Captain, the Vegemals must have gone in here. And look what they left behind. What creature makes a bite like this? Yeah. Looks like the bite of a fine tooth snapper. Whatever it is, we'd better be careful. Hello, little fella. Looks like all the Vegemals are safe and sound. But what were they doing hiding in here? <laughs> they were attacked by something fast moving with big sharp teeth. What the fuck? I knew it! Fang Tooth Snapper, show yourself! Whoa, easy, Quasi. Everyone, wait here while I take a look around. Hmm, it looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good. Because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals. What? Shiny! Whoa! <laughs> Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast! Smells awful. Great work. 
I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. Flappity <laughs> 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 flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Too bad, Apple. So, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> right, Peso. Let's hope that Gup of yours can take the strain. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked on to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. <laughs> we're doomed. Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopods safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air, so sooner or later they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Chop, chop, chop. Ha! Oh, and now, you try to eat me. Oh, you sorry. Excuse for a crab. Ah. Shiver me whiskers! It's the fiddler crabs! And somehow they're being chased by the Gup Z! We have to stop it before they get hurt! Ouch! The claw! I'm a medic. I help. <laughs> We've got to catch up with... Ow! Calm down, you scurvy owl! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octo Alert to the Out Cue! Octo 
Lords, we've cleaned up the beach and found the fiddler crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The Gup D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the Gup D's moving fast. The fiddler crabs tunnels. They'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch! These fiddler crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Ha! Oh, I will never find her! Shiver me whiskers! One of those crabs is inside the cup D! Give us back our leader, giant crab! That's not a giant crab. That's our gulp. Oh, whatever it is, it ain't our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gulp and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. Oh. <laughs> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gup! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Buttons. Go through the rock archway and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octocompass. It's moving again. A monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashy. Now which way do we go? The Octocompass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Yeah. That scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your octocompass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My octocompass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! Hey! Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! <laughs> Lappity blippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! <gasps> Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your octocompass. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. The octocompass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octocompass. The monster! Shiver me whiskers! Another monster! That's it! What? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove. 
No, I'm not a monster. I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? That's what we cuttlefish do to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Whoa! See? I look just like a rock. Oh, 